Hi, Brian McAvoy here with Inside Out Trading. And today's question is, is Forex trading, well Forex trading in particular, but is trading really just kind of a white collar hustle? Now, uh, let's take a look at you know hustling as it pertains to say poker or pool, and see if, you know if it's if it's true. Now, in poker, the way a person will usually get suckered into a hustle, you know, through poker is the hustler, you know, they'll invite the, the person over, uh, you know, to a friendly game of poker. Uh, you know, it's fun. You know, we're just getting together to have some fun, and so the person, you know, they sit down at the table. And they'll start off, you know, either playing for nothing or, you know, maybe penny ante poker or, you know, just a buck of hands. Something, you know, really comfortable for uh, the proposed hustle -y. And And they let him win. And, you know, then they're sitting there saying, oh, yeah, man, oh, you, man, you just got the magic touch today. You know, you can't lose. Oh, you're good at this. And they get them all hyped up and they're having fun and, you know, they're winning some money. And it's just a really, you know, a grand time for, you know, the hustle -y. And it doesn't take long until the hustler, once they, you know, they kind of feel them out and they see, yeah, okay, they're hooked. They're working. Now's the time. And they start raising the stakes. So now they're playing for five bucks a hand, ten bucks a hand, maybe twenty bucks a hand. And the hustler waits until, you know, the stakes are up their ways. And they, they let the, the hustle just keep, you know, keep winning and they're having a good time and they're all caught up. And then they start taking them for twenty, thirty, forty bucks at a time. Now, what the hustler's looking for is they know that the, the, the hustle E has, uh, you know, they've gotten hooked, and, and now, even though they're, they're starting to lose, um, and, you know, maybe even, you know, they're starting to get a little angry. Um, you know, it's like they know that they're hooked and they're going to stay in the game because now they want to win their money back. You know, they're a little hurt. You know, they're, they're wondering what's going on, but they know they can win. And, and, you know, they were winning a minute ago. They got, the, they got that magic touch. And so they'll stay in the game pretty much until they're cleaned out. And that's what the hustler is looking for. So it works the same in pool. You know, invite them into a friendly game, make it easy at first, let them have fun, build, build the confidence, you know, suck them into the game, and, and then, you know, yeah, go and raise the stakes. Now, with Forex trading, uh, the way quite a few brokers, not all of them, don't get me wrong, there are, there are good brokers out there, but I, I, I've also talked to a few uh, Forex brokers. Um, Directly, and it's 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 sad and, and kind of funny at the same time. Um, but they know this; they're fully aware of it. They know that yeah, this is pretty much the same thing. What's going on when they're bringing people into forex trading? You know, they, they say you know, hey, you know, come on over, you know, open up a demo account, and you know, we're watching these markets, and you know, they get you to having fun. You build your, your demo account up real nice, and then they say, oh, you know, you're doing so good. You're good at this. You know, you've got the you've got the touch. You you've got this thing figured out, and then. You know, then they say, "Well, you know, gosh, you, you know, you're, you're so good. We, we, we got to quit playing with play money. You know, let's get you over here with real money so you can start, you know, taking this to the bank." And well, which is only natural. I mean, they know that they're only going to be making money when you start placing trades. So you know, they're anxious to get you to that point as soon as possible. But you know, some of them are very, they're very clever about it. So you know, they move you over into a live account, get you trading with real money, and they know that, yeah, you, you know, maybe you'll hit a winner early on, and even with your losers, they know that you're hooked. And for every time you lose money, there's part of you just like a, with a hustle. They know that you know part of you's mad, part of you's hurt. You know you want to win your money back, and so you're going to keep placing trades because you, you know you want to get that money back. And they'll with, with a lot of brokers. I mean, they'll just let you keep going and and not protect you uh, until you've blown out your account or, or at least taken a, a severe beating, uh, you know, in, in your trading. And they're fully aware of it. That's what's that's what's really wild. And and with a couple of guys that I talked to, like I said, they're fully aware of it. And how they can sleep at night, I don't know. But apparently, you know, they figured out how to deal with. They know what they're doing to people. So anyway, if you can relate to any of this, um, then well, first thing I would I would uh, suggest to you is if you've never seen the movie The Hustler before, with Jackie Gleason and Paul Newman, great movie, very entertaining, good lessons for traders in that movie. But in The Hustler, uh, at one point in the movie, uh, Paul Newman's girlfriend says to him, Eddie, it takes more than just skill to win. It takes character. Now, see, Eddie knew he was good. He knew he could play with the best. He had that level of skill. But he lacked the character as a pool player to really you know, go to that level and, and take Minnesota fats you know, off the top of the hill. And it, of course, he didn't figure it out until the end of the movie, and, and sadly, she had to die along the way. I mean, that was his sacrifice. 
I mean, even even Eddie said, you know, yeah, I, and I traded her for a pool game. Uh, so it was really sad. Uh, but anyway, the point of it is that was the hustle. I mean, the hustler is the name of the movie, and that's the whole theme. And the lessons learned there are, like I said, just just like with this, it takes character to win. Hustlers know that they can present the game as easy to play, and and a lot of forex brokers. A lot of companies out there, you know, they put it out there, yeah, it's easy. Sure, it's easy to play, but it's not so easy to win. And that's the whole point. It does take character. Now, if you can relate to any of this, then I invite you to check out the Trading Pit Club. The PIT stands for Professionals in Training. And it's a club that I formed. It's actually a, a, a training class, a six-month training session, where we focus on giving you all those personal and business skills to take you to the level where, first of all, you can identify when you're being hustled, now you know how to play the game and win the game. Not just play the game, but you know how to win at the game. And that's the whole point, is to give you those you know, personal and, and business developmental skills and also some particular trading skills so that, like I said, you know how to win the game, not just play it. So swing on over to insideouttrading.com forward slash PIT and check out the Trading Pick Club. Like I said, if, if you in any way you know feel like, yeah, yeah, I did, did kind of get hustled. Um, then maybe this is what you're looking for. You know, if you want to go ahead and you know stay with trading, check it out. I'm sure you'll be glad you did. Have a great weekend. Cheers.